Okay, starting out my week. I already have to write up an incident report that happened last week because I totally forgot about it. So the first thing that I do when I come home is you know, if I get paid, I go get a beer because after running around the room for eight hours straight around uh, three to four year olds, we had one teacher call out sick. That means no one could step out of the room and there are incompetent teachers that don't know how to handle. This isn't what I signed up for. I signed up for a support staff to give breaks, but somehow I'm like now an assistant, but I'm also leading. I get off at 5.30 and then by um, right now it's like 6.45 so that's like my commute time and then um, depending on how fast I walk <laughs> and then so then I get home by like 6.30, 6.40 and so then that gives me like 20 or so minutes to just like relax and chill and then I get my time frame for art is 7 to 9 p.m. Just like do gesture poses for like uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah, maybe I'll watch a video or something. But actually what's exciting about right now is that I discovered a, I discovered a new class called Force. And since I'm kind of focusing more on gesture drawing currently, the way he explains things is just like he uses outside art terms to explain art. And I'm just like, then it makes my brain click more because then it's not like i don't know it's like you like he uses like race car and hot wheels and like vehicles essentially to explain and the fact that he's actually an, like an animator um i think is like really beneficial um to understand movement and the body and the figure and how it moves because i think with me i can't just like i can't just be like Oh, I'm going to focus and it's funny because I've like purchased all these courses and books and then I haven't been reading them but I'm not going to be mad at myself because I'm like well maybe you need these because you purchase them but then you need to like create movement in your flow so you like take a little bit from this and you take a little bit of that and it's like the same thing you're learning the same thing because like it's the same 
drawing style, but you're learning a little piece from here and then from that and here and that and nah, 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 nah. versus just like, oh, you have to do this course like every single day because what I've noticed is that my brain gets really bored and so I need that stimulus. So when I find something else that's kind of in that same framework in that, that for quarter one, so January, February, March, um, I put in for my goal is to learn figure drawing and I'm kind of blaming myself because I'm like, oh, you're not like focusing on one thing and you're kind of going all over the place. And are you really learning? Because like I'm learning gesture drawing, but then I get kind of bored or I only do like maybe 10 minutes of that. And then I'm like, well, I want to learn how to draw hands. So like I, I watch a like anatomy of hands and I draw practice drawing hands or I'm like oh I'm gonna draw feet now if you like know yourself like if you need that movement in your life in your learning stuff your learning style is taking pieces and then combining it together then do that because in the long run it's going to all come together I feel like figure drawing in itself is like really helpful because you can take pieces and then fit it together so if you want to learn like the structure or you want to learn gesture drawing or you want to learn like the construction of the body or like yeah or if you want to learn the muscles or you only want to learn the skeletons or you want only like you can literally go a full year just learning about figure drawing because like it's that complicated so like I want to give myself like leeway and not be like oh it has to be this way dilemma like uh, you're a bad person because you keep giving up on things like you start and like all like it's all psychological I'm just trying to find ways um kind of to like motivate myself figure drawing in itself is like a big big thing and then breaking it down into smaller parts like if you only have like 30 minutes and break in break down that big thing that big topic that you want to learn and break it down into something like oh well I I have time to do like five to ten minute gesture drawings every day um, and then you can switch off you can be like oh this day I'm just gonna do gesture drawings and then this day I'm going or I'm just gonna draw and then this day I'm actually going to watch a video and then draw what I watch like let's say watch a video about how to draw, how to draw feet so really figure drawing I think is the best topic to learn because you can be fluid in your learning style and you can experiment if you're a person that doesn't need like you don't like structure it kind of gives you the illusion of like lack of structure because then you're like oh well, I'm curious about this oh well I'm curious about this and you kind of and you're still in the framework of figure drawing because you're still learning about the body and you're still learning I'm thinking about in regards like yeah I could do gesture draw gesture drawings every day but then I'm like am I getting better at gesture drawings or am I just like drawing what I continuously know and then I'm drawing it wrong which there's no wrong way to draw but it's like but that's why you have YouTube a literally free platform to learn like um people like Proko um who are much better at explaining our fundamentals than I am like looking at the free resources and then when you can invest invest I mean I would love to take the Watts Atelier there's like a um, Engage Academy in Seattle. There's actually Atelier programs and I really would love if I could do that. But literally you cannot do it with a full-time job because it's literally a full-time job. And their schedules are literally like Tuesday, Wednesday, like literally, some of them are like every day of the week and all day and all you're doing is just drawing and figure drawing all day because it's very strenuous strenuous very uh focused people that do um get accepted in in those programs it's like you have to be very like determined focused um studious like you have to really like this is what i'm doing for four years forever like ongoing like ongoing ongoing and i would love to do that because in some sense i think i need that structure